Welcome to your angel messages regarding where you may need to focus on having more healing in your life. Hi, I'm Devin Dewar, angel intuitive and spiritual teacher. Let's begin with the messages from the angels that they want you to hear about healing. Now, when you hear this word healing, I am not a doctor. I cannot give you advice on this, but this is where the angels are wanting to point out an area in your life where maybe you could put more attention into calling in healing. Maybe there's more healing needed than you you realize. So as you're listening to these messages, think about your emotional health, think about your physical health, and think about your spiritual health. Is there an area there that could use more healing? Have you recently experienced some heartache and you know you need more time and you've been putting it off to go ahead and focus on that healing? And the angels are reminding you health is wealth. So focus on having that health there. So listen to these messages. Notice anything that resonated because this is a group message leave behind anything that does not but I do encourage you to write it down because hindsight is one of the most powerful tools for deepening your connection with the angels these messages are meant for you anytime you come across them the angels are highly efficient and know when you will come across them <laughs> I also say a prayer of protection saying that asking that I only connect with God's highest vibrational beings and the messages be for the highest good of all who come across them so let's get started and I would really appreciate if you would hit the like button on this video uh, and share it if it resonates it really helps my channel grow and to please comment let me know if you have questions or simply a he uh, affirm I like to say write in the comments an affirmation I receive more healing or I receive these messages and I feel good do something that feels that brings more affirmation to where you feel called to add more focus on healing and thank you so much to my subscribers for being here I love you so much and I am always so grateful for you all right let's get right into these messages around where in your life might you need to focus more on healing again a reminder this could be your emotional health your physical health or your spiritual health this is not medical advice it's just pointing to a direction in your life where oh you know what I've been putting off adding more health there so this is really the word we're thinking of is focus where could you focus more on health as you hear these messages the very first thing the angels want to um, address with you is they see where you are wanting to take a certain relationship to a new level. You are checking in with your intuition to say, you know what, I do need to have a better relationship with my emotions. I do need to have a better relationship with my health. Maybe you want a better relationship with another person and you know that you need to first focus on healing yourself in order to be able to offer that to somebody else. That's the big thing the angels are always wanting to remind us is we do have to first focus on filling up our cup full of divine light and health and wealth and love for ourselves before we're going to be ready to go and take any other relationship to a new level because if you come in at where you are not at ideal health that can affect the relationship down the road now they are saying that many for many of you this is about needing to take a favorable assessment of the facts review and evaluate those areas of your life now the other three areas of your life I'd like to bring up right now the angels are asking me to ask you to review is where in your life could you maybe move in a new direction when it comes to your career and finance, your budgets, your um, retirement plan, your health and well, wellness, your fitness, like we were saying, your physical body, or even in your relationships, both romantic, children, parent, colleagues, where is there an opportunity that you could move in a di different direction, take a step back, review and evaluate, and really make sure you're clear on the facts? Because that's where they're saying you're feeling challenged right now is maybe you're not clear on information. And of course, they're going to have guidance for you on that coming up. So stay tuned to that. But trust that, you know, this is a time for assessing that. And that's why this they asked me to do this video is actually when I sat down to connect with the angels, I thought I was going to do uh, one of my evergreen ones where it's just you know whenever you come across it you'll hear the message you're meant to hear they came through loud and clear that this one they wanted me to ask you to focus on where you can add more health so again remembering that term and remembering that this is an opportunity for you to step back and go oh you know what 
I haven't been focusing on bringing more healthy foods and, you know, nutrients into my life. I haven't been focusing on nurturing my relationship with my spouse or romantic partner. Okay. Now, one of the things they want you to know that you may not be aware of, or it's a subconscious thing that they they want to bring to you is that you are ready for these changes. Okay, you are ready to take these relationships to a next level. This is where I get this guidance from the angels a lot where people will say, well, you know what, I'll start exercising once work slows down or I'll start dating once my kids go off to college. Those kinds of things people will say, that's when I'm going to do it. And they're putting off taking that relationship to a new level. And they're saying, no, you're ready right now. You have the resources to available to you as long as you're willing to focus them and open your heart and mind to that. And it's no surprise at all that they're saying recently, one of the challenges you've really been facing is not being willing to make a decision about that. You've been in this stalemate energy. Maybe you've been pretending there's no problem and and turning a blind eye to things. And that's why they're bringing that up to you right now that we need to focus on moving forward and moving out of this stalemate information uh, energy by getting more information. And right now, the time you're hearing, hearing these messages, they want you to look out for those self-fulfilling prophecies. Have you been catching yourself waking up at night, thinking about things, expecting the worst, and then that's only adding more energy to whatever situation needs healing. For example, if you are needing more, you know, exercise or or better eating habits, but you're staying up all night worrying about how you're going to implement that, now you're adding more issues to your physical health when your focus is on adding more health to your physical health. So whatever is keeping you up at night, wherever you are, um, you know, finding yourself going, expecting the worst, like, oh, it's, it's just going to happen like it did last time. I finally start dating and then I get rejected. Wherever that is for you, they're calling attention to that because that's where they're asking you to look to make a decision, get research and move on, move in a different direction. Now, what they're going to ask you to do coming up in the near future is when you're doing this review and evaluation of what the truth is around a relationship. What is the truth about the way you talk to yourself when it comes to your health or your uh, belief in the ability to find the ideal partner, whatever that is for you? Where do you need to step back and go, okay, you know what? I think I have been a little too pessimistic about this, or you know what? I have been ignoring that it is time to go ahead and seek a counselor to help me taking my relationships to the next level or help me remove myself from a relationship. Maybe you need to call a financial advisor to help you get your finances in order or to plan for the future. And you you just have been putting off making that decision because you feel like they're going to tell you something you don't want to hear or it's not going to work. But they want you to check in with your intuition and open your heart and mind to somebody who can offer you that trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Again, the angels are always wanting to remind us we're not here to do this alone. You can get help. If you are in a relationship where things are struggling, I they are encouraging you to find a counselor that can help you first and then maybe you as a couple. If you're struggling with your health, seeking new um health advisors for you. And the angels can help guide you to the best person for any of these things. I will often ask the angels, like, please guide me to the best person to give me advice on this situation. And then you're checking in with your intuition to see if you feel a yes. And what they want you to know where your personal power is going to come from this is to trust that if you get really in love with the idea, that's your yes. When you feel romantic or enthusiastic about something and you're willing to sit there and contemplate all the facts around it, that is where your personal power is coming from. So again, this is where we're not just jumping in the deep end right away with any of these changes we're making. We are taking that approach where we're getting advice, we're gathering information, but you actually feel excited about gathering that information or getting that advice 
booking that counseling session or that session with a fitness expert. Okay. So think about it from that standpoint. That's where your power is coming from. Now with your relationships that are around you right now, you're going to be looking for people that are generous with their time and energy, people who are professional, responsible, and practical. You are going to want to avoid anyone that is withholding information from you who is withholding their time and space from you because that's probably not the person they're guiding you to for this trustworthy advice. And if it is somebody that you're thinking, okay, I do want to finally start dating this person or I do want to, you know, go ahead and get engaged. They're wanting you to look around to see, you know, are your energies matching? Are you having a lot of success together? And if you are, or you're finding, maybe you are seeking advice and you're finding they are generous, professional, practical, and responsible, then that's your ticket right there to go ahead and move forward and trust any opportunities that come up. Maybe it's the other person asking you out and you're, you know, assessing the energy and checking in with your intuition going, okay, I am ready to go ahead and go out on a date with this person, even though I thought I was going to wait, you know, three or four more years to do that. So one of the things that is going to be a challenge for us is we want to make sure that we are bringing in the self-discipline and willpower needed to achieve these changes that we want. And it may mean having to recognize within ourselves where we have been turning a blind eye or where we have not been willing to uh, admit there's an issue or make a decision or get information. And sometimes that is where you are not willing to admit a relationship is no longer serving you. And that's okay. There's always compassionate ways to approach that and work on that. But they do want you to make sure you're not falling into self-fulfilling prophecy, but also not um, avoiding needing to go ahead and, and make the changes necessary. The ultimate outcome that you are going to get by facing this area in your life where you need to focus on adding more health is going to be an amazing opportunity for optimistic long-term plans, getting on the right path, and really following through with adding more health to that area of your life. Again, that's your emotional wealth, your physical wealth, your um, spiritual wealth. Where are you wanting to add more of that in? And focusing on that now is going to allow you to really be able to make plans for the long term that help you feel like you are rising to a new level with your health. Well, thank you all so much for being here. If you want to, you can go check out my other videos on angel messages for clarification. I like to remind you that you can listen to any message on any video on my channel. And if you feel drawn to click on it, there's probably a message for you there. So note that you don't have to wait around. And if so, if any of this was not clear for you, I encourage you to just go surf my channel a little bit. Maybe just watch the most recent angel message video, whatever's best for you and um, see what resonates, see if it clarifies. I've had people report that they've gone back a year or two back to old angel messages and gotten clarification because the angels are so efficient that way. They'll, they'll tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, go look over there. Speaking of tapping you on the shoulder, don't forget to check out my videos, Journal with Your Angels and Me, where I teach you how to use my custom intuition tracker that is available on my YouTube store and my website, devindoer.com, so that you can journal along with me. I'll put the links below. And also, if you're not already subscribed to my free newsletter, please do so at devindoer.com so that you can get my free ebook, Is It a Sign? And that'll also help you with learning the nudges from the angels. Well, thank you so much for being here and listening. I'm so grateful for you. Please remember to write your affirmation in the comments below about where you feel you are open to receiving more focus and health in your life. I love you so much. I'm so grateful you're here. Remember, take time every day to connect with the angels.